I don't know. It's just kind of always was my passion. My grandparents owned one of the farms we ended up buying. And uh, when I was- You were in, born there. I was, I was born on that farm. And in the summertime when school was out, I would come and help my grandfather farm. I, uh, I just love, love messing with the cattle and, and taking care of the land. And it was just instilled to us at a very early age to appreciate the farm and appreciate family and work hard and play hard. And, and it's always, always been uh, Buddy's progressive. He's, he's looking, how can I better my farm? You know, what, what can we do? Uh, my, my herd, how can I improve it? You know, he's, he's always looking for what, what can we do to, to make this farm a, a better place and grow the farm. And so I think this uh, expanding his farm and he's is, is, is making a legacy. It's keeping it in the family, is just keeping it maintained and trying to build off of it from what he's, what's already started. Got my calling to come home and help out on the farm and eventually take over. I'm just kind of the, the pupil learning as I go. You know, as, as, as far as uh, conservation was concerned, soil conservation, water conservation, uh, he's always been proactive when it comes to that. My grandfather kind of instilled that in, in me as far as taking care of the land. And I've, I've kind of, that's ingrained in me. We, we kind of go along with that. And, uh, I just don't want to see the land destroyed. And he's a true conservationist. You know, most true farmers want to take care of their land. And Buddy certainly implements that on this farm. Starting way back with his first gully plug, uh, moving on through uh, all the things he does uh, from helping wildlife um, to uh, preventing erosion and just caring for the land in general. Stuff we tried, I mean, you, if, you, if you never try something, you, you, fail, you fail automatically. So we, we try it and if it works, we're just tickled with it, you know, and, and continue to do it. But if it doesn't, we don't, we don't do it again. <laughs> I have so much pride for that because he does work hard and he does a lot of things very quietly and humbly that a lot of times we don't even know about. So I know he has set this farm up to last for generations and generations. And so that is, um, it's, it's just a blessing for all of us and just so much pride.